Unit One: Urban Adventure: The Rise of Parkour, December Second. Have you ever dreamed of using an entire city as your training ground, effortlessly moving across walls, buildings, stairs, and obstacles? This is not just a fantasy from the movies. In cities around the world, a group of enthusiasts practice this seemingly impossible sport, parkour. The origins of parkour can be traced back to 20th century France. A military officer named Georges Herbert witnessed the incredible physical abilities of local residents in Africa, which inspired him to create the méthode naturelle or natural method. This training method cleverly combined climbing, running, and swimming. With artificial barriers to mimic nature, later David Bell evolved this into parkour as we know it today. His father Raymond crucially influenced its development and taught David that with total conviction anything is possible. At its core, parkour is about overcoming obstacles in an environment while developing one's capabilities. Basic movements include running, jumping, climbing, and rolling. However, Parkour is not limited to fixed moves. Practitioners, commonly called traceurs, can develop unique skills based on the environment and their personal abilities. In addition, safety is always a top priority in parkour. Beginners should learn gradually under professional guidance and avoid risky moves done for mere excitement. The charm of parkour lies not in the flashy moves or the display of high difficulty skills. Its true essence is that every jump and climb is a challenge and a breakthrough for self-belief.